dear students we have already discussed the refraction through a curved refracting surface both convex and concave the general formula for <coughs> refraction formula for curved refracting surface already studied as mu by v minus 1 by u is equal to mu minus 1 by r this is already studied now we are going to discuss lens makers formula <coughs> this is fully related to a refraction through curved refracting surfaces this figure shows a convex lens <coughs> having two curved surfaces of a radial curvature r and r2 r and r2 respectively and having a refractive index mu who is a point object on the principal axis of this thin lens the first curved surface when a ray of light incident ray of light falls on it the first curved surface forms the image at the eye dash at a distance of v dash that is shown in the figure so for the first curved surface being on right mu by v dash minus 1 by u is equal to mu minus 1 by r1 what is r1 r1 is the radius of curvature of the first curved surface now for the second curved surface the image i dash formed by the first curved surface is acting as the virtual object the second curved surface finally forms the image at i distant v from the lens so for the second curved surface we can write 1 by mu by v minus 1 by v dash is equal to 1 by mu minus 1 divided by r2 you may ask me a question why 1 by mu because in the second curved surface the light is traveling from denser medium to rarer medium first curved surface it was from rarer to dense that is why by the principle of reversibility the refractive index is given by 1 by mu <coughs> now the second equation is multiplied by mu throughout every term is multiplied by mu as one in the figure 1 by mu into mu by v minus mu by v dash is equal to 1 by mu into mu minus 1 into mu divided by r we get the equation as 1 by v minus mu by v dash is equal to 1 minus mu by r2 that's equal to minus of mu minus 1 by r2 this is equation number 2 Comparing these two equations, we can write these two terms. This term and this term cancels. This term and this term cancels. We will get one by b minus one by u is equal to mu minus one into one by r one minus one by r two. This is equation number three. If the object is at infinity, this is an assumption. If an object is at infinity, object is at infinity means that is shown here. That is. u is equal to infinity for a convex lens when object distance is infinity the image distance is the focal length so object distance u is infinity u is equal to infinity then v is equal to f shown here that is 1 by f minus 1 by infinity this will be minus 1 into 1 by r on minus 1 by r that is 1 by f is equal to minus 1 into 1 by r on minus 1 by r since 1 by infinity is equal to that everybody knows and this expression is called lens makers formula second condition if the object is at the earth then v is equal to infinity then the equation 3 becomes in place of uh, object is the figure is shown here object is at the, the focus if the object is at the focus means u is equal to minus f by sign convention And v is equal to infinity. Then one by v, v here it is infinity, infinity minus one by minus f is equal to mu minus one into one by r one minus one by r two. So finally we get one by f is equal to mu minus one into one by r one minus one by r two. Two cases we have applied. So this equation 
Today onwards you will remember this equation. It's a very famous equation. 1 by F is equal to mu minus 1 into 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2. This equation is called lens makers formula because after a lens is manufactured, calculating the radius of curvature R1 and R2, manufacturer can calculate the value of focal length of the lens and he can write the on the wrapper the focal length is equal to 10 centimeter or 15 centimeter, 20 centimeter, etc. Now some cases. For a double convex lens, R1 is positive and R2 is negative. You know this, these are two curved surfaces. This is a sphere, this also a sphere, part of a sphere. So for this as a sphere, distance is measured in the right hand side. For this surface, the uh, radius of curvature is measured in the left hand side. So R1 is positive and R2 is negative. For a biconvex lens, R1 is equal to plus R and R2 is equal to minus R. By sign, convention is noted here. So for double convex lens, lens makers formula is 1 by F is equal to mu minus 1 into 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2. And for biconvex lens, 1 by F is equal to mu minus 1 into 1 by R plus 1 by R is equal to 2 into mu minus 1 by R. For glass, the value of mu is approximately equal to 1.5. If the value is put, we can calculate the value of focal length. And you have to apply the cases for concave lens, also for double concave lens and also for biconcave lens.